Yo me acuerdo de repente verme. I remember suddenly being surrounded by thousands of fans on the pitch, friends and family. amigos. It even got a bit too much. They were trying to get my shorts and my boots, anything they could grab. But it's a good memory. And when we got back to Valencia, when we were on the coach on the way into the city, there were even older people who were crying. And seeing those images, it's something that you can never forget. We were competing against Madrid and Barca, and you know how hard it is to win the Liga in Spain. I was lucky to form a part of a group who were magic, a group that was lucky enough to win things. The best memory of them all is winning that first Liga in Malaga. That was the best. It had been so long since the club had won it, and the fans were so happy. Once we'd won that first Liga, two years later we won it again. But it had been 31 years since Valencia had last won La Liga, and the fans were just incredibly happy. Fifteen seasons in the Valencia first team, club captain and with an important role in the club's last golden era, David Albelda not only won himself a place in the heart of Mestalla, but his name will always be linked to the club. When you analyse that team, it's difficult to pick out a standout player. I think we were all good players, but we were all better thanks to the player playing alongside us. I was good, but having Ruben next to me made me better, and having Aymar even more so. When you had Ayala behind you or Cañizares, it made us all better. Going to Valencia when I was 15 or 16 was magic. It was a dream. Something really hard to achieve. And just over three years later, there I was in the Valencia changing room, alongside lots of players who I'd gone to the ground to watch play just a few years before. I'll always be grateful to Valdano because, and maybe it's by chance, it was his decision to bring me up into the Valencia first team. I got there for the 97-98 season and I felt unsure. I didn't know if I'd be staying or not. I just turned 20 and he was the first team manager. The skills I had and the way I played were very different from his footballing philosophy and the way he wanted the team to play. But after the pre-season, he decided, and he came up to me and said, you're staying. In your first few seasons at a club like Valencia, you never feel consolidated in the team. There was never a pre-season when I felt, that's it, you're in. You always saw new signings coming in. I thought I'd probably end up going out on loan. I'd already been on loan to Villarreal. So each season you begin feeling the doubts, not knowing what the season was going to hold for you. But the years kept going by and I ended up consolidated in the team. I spent a lot of years there and they were brilliant. There were bad times too, of course, but overall I can't complain about how things went all my time with Valencia. David Albelda's time at Valencia linked him forever with the biggest club of his birthplace and also with Spain's La Liga. 386 top flight appearances and his imposing character had made him a reference for Los Che when he decided the time had come to hang up his boots in August 2013. Even so, his emotional links with the club mean he keeps up with the day-to-day -day goings on at Mestalla. Everybody thought that among all the offers, some rich magnates would take over in the style of Chelsea or PSG, and that Valencia would change from being a good club to a winning club. But that's not so easy. 
y yo creo que es muy difícil. Está la cosa en un proceso. Things are in a constant state of change. The people who are in now are trying to learn the culture and the history. They began by getting in a Valencia man as president, which was Amadeo. They gave him the chance, and that's changing things. We'll see how it goes, but obviously everything has changed. And this isn't the Valencia that everyone was hoping for, that's for sure. Este no es el Valencia que todo el mundo esperaba, está claro.